Now I've gone through a lot of the different functionality within the individual pivot table. So now I want to show you the options tab, which has pretty much all the functionality all located in one spot. So this is going to be very easy for you since we've gone through all the detail of bringing up these different options in the pivot table itself. So if we click on, click on our options tab. Now you can see that um, we have um, all the different um, uh, in this ribbon we have all the different functionality that's available to the pivot table so for instance the actual table options our field settings um, are right up here within this ribbon um, if we want to group a selection or ungroup um, we can do so directly from here sorting um, A to Z or alphabetically uh, we can do so our refresh is here for a refresh or refresh all now if we want to change our data source, this is kind of similar to the pivot table wizard where um, you could go and select a different data source. Let's cancel out of that and go back to options. Um, this would be if you want to clear um, the entire pivot table. Um, let's go back to our options. And uh, for instance, right here, this would be if you want to select the entire pivot table at once. So like if you want to select the entire pivot table and then hit your delete button, that would basically completely delete the pivot table. And we're going to get into our pivot chart and our formulas here in a minute. Um, uh, later within the course. But this is our, f our fill list to show or hide it. And then our um, our plus and minus buttons for expansion and uh, contraction. Finally, our field headers, labels. So um, these are um, the field labels. Um, we get into a little bit later on how to change those and um, customize those.